Hey guys, Brito here. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019. Here we are, part number 10. Um, carrying on from where we left off before. So we've got our uh, 24 sheep in here. Happy as Larry. Got food, water, somewhere to run around and eat and wee and poo and all that sort of stuff they do. Um, so this episode, we're going to harvest these soybeans again. Well, I shouldn't say again. We did wheat last time. Harvest these soybeans to get the worker going. Um, and then... I was thinking of looking at um, maybe putting in a cow field, even a small one. Um, it's probably what we're going to do because the one, like the bigger one, is just oops, lag. Um, the bigger one is just way too bloody big. So I think that is going to be the plan. Okay, where is our trailer over there? Use our tractor, which doesn't destroy the crops, but the tractor wheels do, so gotta be pretty careful. Make sure his arms up off the ground. Right, I'm um, swing in here and grab some fuel at the same time. Grab that. We'll bring him over. And so we might look at the cows and. Um, See what we can do with these cows early on. I don't think we'll be able to do very much, but um, you never know. All right, so make sure we bring up this F1 help menu before we try and place anything because, um, as I said before, I put down one of the pressure washers and it cost me $95,000 instead of $5,000. So be pretty careful. So this one only takes 50 sheep. This one takes sheep, 50 cows. This one takes 200 cows. Um, but I think for us, this early on in the game, 50 um, is probably more than enough, to be honest. I'm going to put it there and have a look. 100,000. 140.95 there. But I can't see all those lines. Mm. Thinking... Here. Boom, there we go. Done. I know it cost us a lot more than it should have um, because I had to adjust the ground, but that's alright, it's not too bad. Actually, let's go and put a bit of fuel in this thing. I keep resetting this, which it doesn't cost us much, um, just to be able to bring stuff back a lot quicker, but when we refill it, you can see how much fuel it takes. Hardly anything, so. So we'll come over and have a look and um, work out what we're going to need to do for these guys. Right, shut it down here. So here would be where we drop the cows off. Um, can't actually open the door. Here is where we drop off the water. Here would be where we put the straw, I'm assuming. Um, or food, maybe. Um, liquid fertilizer. Oh, liquid slurry and um, manure. This is where we collect the milk, I'm assuming. Not that we can pick that up. Uh, this will be where we put the food. So that might be, yeah, straw over there, maybe. I don't know. Okay, let's have a look. How much are they? Two and a half thousand. So we've got brown, brown and white, black, black and white. We've got Brahmins. Brown, white, light brown, and grey. I'm not sure why you would have Brahmins, because they don't produce milk. Well, maybe they do. I'm not quite sure. They've got udders, so possibly. Um, let's grab four. Just grab four. Four dairy cows. What we'll do is we'll go and grab our... Um, their water trailer. At least give them water and then we'll look at getting um, some grass and stuff in there for them. Watch out for this big ski jump there. I don't think we can actually um, put the straw bales straight in 
I think we need to actually um, either put it in as straw or use one of those machines that sort of spits it out. Turns a straw bale into straw. So we're going to animals while we're doing this. Okay, here we go. Um, cleanliness and straw. That's the conditions. Hay, silage, grass, total mixed ration. So you can put hay straight in there, which is okay. Got heaps of hay sitting over there. Um, Alright, let's have a look at the map. Where's our closest spot to get water? Definitely down over here. So we might head down to the waterfront up here, see if we can get a decent road down. Right down to the water. Uh, yeah, no, not there. Definitely not there. We can get down there, but there's no way we'll be able to get back up. It's pretty rough around here. Um, I don't think it'll be any better down here. Oh, uh, here's a road there. There's a dinosaur there. I'm not quite sure what it is, to be honest. Probably need a bigger pickup to be able to do this. I don't know what it is. Kind of looks like a big. Alright. Two-legged fish. Like a uh, walking fish sort of thing, but like a massive one, of course. Come down along the beach. There's no one down here. So it must be winter. I'm hoping we can back this straight in. There you go, and refill from here. See, this should be free. But we shouldn't be able to use this sort of water. It's a very slow process. Actually, the the beach sounds are very good. Very interesting. I don't believe there's any like gold nuggets um, or anything like horseshoes or anything that we need to collect. Don't believe there's anything at all. Oh, this guy's struggling up the hill a little bit. Definitely need to, um, when we get a little bit more money, upgrade to the bigger truck. There are a few mods out there. Um, F250, I believe. Um, I think there might even be a Chevy and a Dodge as well. Dodge Ram and maybe, I think it was a Silverado. Check, nothing coming. Ski jumps everywhere. It's like a house, lighthouse. I like the buildings up there too. I don't know if they're. Well, they look like little homes up there actually. Could be an area where people actually do live up there. Which would be interesting. So the other thing we want to get um, is pigs. Let's have a look. Um, I think the little one for 90,000 will be the go as well. I think if we get the little stuff up and running, then eventually we can upgrade to the larger things. There you go. Plenty of water. We don't have nothing to eat at the moment. We've only got $14,000 left, so I don't think we can take out any more loans. We've already maxed it out. More capacity for water, that's fine. Um, really got nothing to pick up the hay with except for our shovel or our front loader. Um, the only thing we can do is pick up some bales and take them over. Okay, get out of here. We definitely should swap these tractors over, I think. I don't know, he's not even 80% full yet, so... 
not quite sure how good the yield's going to be. Doesn't seem to be that good at the moment, does it? Um, See, so I'm thinking... The food won't go there. So that would have to be the straw. Which one's which? This one's the bale spike. Now this is going to be a challenge, trying to get some bales to bring it down and drop it off and not have too much of a drama without losing them. It actually hasn't made like a big jump there. That hasn't really affected it too much more than what it actually was before. So, um, How many are we going to pick up? Might try and pick up maybe four at a time. Probably way too many. Yes, we can get it down on the ground. Ooh, definitely too heavy. Right, back out of there. Can we pick up two? I reckon that'll still be too heavy. Oh, no, that's alright. That's not too bad at all. Back down. Try not to slam on the brakes and drive like a maniac, otherwise we'll drop them everywhere. Uh, like that. Beautiful, there we go. So they don't just disappear anymore like they have in the past. When you put them in there, they don't just disappear. You've actually got to, like, drop them off the tines themselves. Um, so that's grass, 8,000 litres. Let's go back up and grab a couple more. Uh, grab, the, whoop, grab these two. Same sort of thing. Whoop. Nice and steady. Whoop. 16,000 litres, we need one more. Okay, what we'll do is we'll get in this guy quickly, otherwise he's going to be over here doing nothing, this poor harvester. There we go, he's turned around, so that's going to help us a little bit. Uh, where's the best price for soybeans? Where are we here? Uh, 2604. Central grain elevator, which is pretty close to us. It's not far away at all, which is good. We got a damage on this really halfway. Definitely gonna need to get that service center pretty soon. So I believe when they put their um beacon on and it starts beeping like that, that means they're nearly full. Now it should be... Yeah, now it's out. Although, it's still beeping, so... I don't know, but definitely the... Like, the beacons. How full is it going to get? Beautiful. Back, back a little bit. Let's make sure we're out of the way for he's turning around. Right, start this guy up. We'll go and grab just one more. Bring it down, and then we have to work out what we're going to do with the straw. I 
it doesn't matter too much now about like driving a bit more aggressive because it's being held on so it's only the ones that are on top that are kind of floating freely in the air that are going to come flying off there we go so what is that now 20,000 done all right so now let's look at uh, animals uh, forage which is what I really want to get but I believe um, we can put straw straight into it and that should spit straw out whereas these guys just you kind of throw the straw out um, I think what's that to lease 2000 this one is yeah, we can lease both, so that's fine, if we need to. Alright. So I'll pause him there. Um, oh, you're done. Good job. Get this guy emptied out. So we're going to have... Oh, what are we going to have? How much money? Probably about $50,000 out of this harvest, which is pretty good. Very, very, very good. There we go. I'll park this guy over out of the way. So definitely going to need to work out where we're going to put our sheds and stuff for our vehicles and um, all that sort of stuff. I mean, we owned a bit of land over here, so we could put it right next to the road. Um, that'll be another good spot. Right, so what my plan is now is to, where are you? There you are, reset you. Oh, we're already back here. Oh. I think we did just body fuel the body thing, but anyway. And it actually costs us $60 to bring it here as well. Can you pick it up? You can. You just can't turn it on. Hopefully that, um... Uh, what do they call it? Like the drivetrain three-point thingy doesn't. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I was saying, I hope it doesn't stop us from going anywhere, but yes, yes it does. Alright, so we need to move uh, you as well. Always take this truck and pick up everything we can because it's so much quicker to drive than the tractors. And uh, One thing I'd... I'd like to see is when you purchase something from the shop you can pay a delivery fee to get it delivered to the farm that would be ideal come on why won't it connect to there okay looks like we're gonna have to bring a tractor up here unfortunately all right well you stay there um, you're done so we might as well go and um, take this to the sale, sale yard, central grain elevator up here. Because we're going to have to use this guy to um, come back and cultivate. Well, not even cultivate, just reseed. So we need to look at what um, we are going to need. Um, total mix ration. So we've got plenty of hay. We've got plenty of straw and grass, so we don't need anything else for these guys. Uh, we're going the right way, yep. Um, so, we can put down anything. We can do soybeans again. We can do uh, canola instead this time. I'm not really, don't really want to do like wheat or anything, because we've got so many straw bales there already. I mean, with wheat we can um, not only sell the wheat but sell the bales. The bales are actually worth plenty compared to what they have in the past. They've been in other series, so in FS17 and, and that sort of thing. And I don't think the silage bales are worth as much as they used to be either. So the price of silage has dropped a little bit, which is good. Definitely a good thing. So bring this guy in. Cover off, make sure we're lined up 
properly, we might go left, right, grain door. There we go. Let's see now it's going to go in there properly. Look at our money going up. Right, while he's doing that, we can at least get this guy sort of moving and on his way to the shop. Let's hope it has enough power to power the other machine. There we go, 47,000. It's pretty good. Should be able to get over there pretty cleanly. Shut you down. Um, I did know us. I did remember saying to you guys that I wasn't going to do um, where we're going to swap between vehicles. So alt tab, not alt tab, alt tab gets you out of the game. Just tab between vehicles, fast switch. But I mean, for the um, the sake of being a let's play and trying to get things done reasonably quick, I think tabbing through the vehicles is okay. Maybe if I was doing like a live stream series and doing a more realistic version of Farming Simulator, then I definitely wouldn't be alt-tabbing, or alt-tabbing, I keep saying alt-tabbing, I definitely wouldn't be tabbing through vehicles. So the other thing that we can do, as I've said to you guys before, is jobs, but um, I think fertilizing jobs are pretty good, pretty easy. And we've already got the equipment already and we've already got you know a ton of fertilizer so it won't hurt if we actually do do some fertilization jobs so I'm gonna bring this guy up here park it just about here that way we can load some of this silent uh, hay into there to the trailer and then come and dump it straight into into the cows we got they've got enough food enough water so they just need yeah hay silage and some straw all right so we might do might do some canola this time and we can always go and do some oil seed radish but doesn't really help us too much, I don't think. So wheat, barley, oat, canola. We might do, might do canola this time. The high button, it working away. Good job. Let's get to the shop. Um, pick this guy up. I might go this other way because there's a. A road here that we can take, which goes down, sort of beside this water tower there to the left, yep. It goes down to the water and then you can cross through the water and come back up again. So I haven't gone down there yet, we might um, go down there now and have a look. Other thing I definitely want to get into is definitely do some forestry stuff, so if you guys want to see us um, plant some of our own, own trees and let them grow and get into some forestry stuff, let me know. That'll be something I'll, I definitely want to get into. I've never really... Never really done it, to be honest, like forestry and stuff. Look at this. There you go. It's pretty cool. And that waterfall looks pretty good as well. It's just a big climb up the other side. Okay, well, mate, you can do it. You can get it there. Um, so there's a spot there we could drive down to the water and fill up our, our water trailer, which is probably a little bit further than the beach, but nevertheless, there is a spot. Where are we? Got to head this way. It's always a long drive, that's what I mean. If we could pay for delivery and 
definitely be worth it. As long as it's not like a 10 grand delivery fee, you know what I mean? Just maybe when you press deliver, you can select a spot on the map to get it delivered to there, and then it'll cost you, I don't know, like cost us $60 to reset our, our truck from where we are back to the shop. So maybe, you know, something similar, $100, $200 for delivery. I think that'll be a pretty fair price. Go straight ahead. Um, so there's the biogas plant and stuff. Definitely want to look at putting some grass into there as well. We're just going to have to wait until... Obviously, we've expanded a lot more. So this is just all weed, this field. All weeds. And so is that one. So one thing, um, I don't know if we can change the graphics here. No, we can't. Yeah. So I've seen a few people comment um, on some discussions on Steam, saying that they've increased the the draw distance and all that sort of stuff, and it's made the game a lot more a lot more better graphic-wise, and you can have you can see it a lot more, but it hasn't dropped the frame rate dramatically, so. That's um, something I'll definitely look at off camera. I'll try and improve it a little bit because my screenshots um, screenshots aren't too bad, but they kind of look really grainy to me, which is kind of strange, but I don't know. All right, so what has this guy got? Uh, turn on, tip left, right, left, right, doesn't matter. Um, nothing... Overly exciting. So we're not far off having total mixed ration, really. We've got hay bales, we've got silage bales, we've got straw bales. That's all we need. Um, so I think it might even... We just need grass bales, not hay bales. I keep forgetting um, what certain things look like. Yeah, so it's hay, silage and straw, which we've got all of that. I think it's one of each. Should be just one of each. That's if I remember correctly, which... Um, yeah, I have a terrible memory, so... So I'm hoping we can take this up there. Put, I'll put one straw bale in it to start with and then um, take it down and see if we can unload it straight into the cows. Otherwise, we're going to have to do it a different way. Just wondering, tip left, tip right, you can see there the, like, the conveyor belt near those ladders there. There's one to the left, there's one to the right. So that is pretty cool. So I think there's one, um, the actual vehicle you can buy. You can only tip left, I think. Well, that's what it used to be like. I'm not quite sure now. Alright, so we're nearly there. It's a very, very long drive. and I know, it's, I could possibly cut this out. If you guys would prefer me to cut out me driving to and from, let me know. I can do that. If you're more than happy to come along on the journey, you know, let me know that as well. Had a few comments. A few of you guys have been um, pretty excited about the series and giving me some good ideas and that sort of thing. But, um, yeah, if you guys have ideas, as I said, leave a comment. Let me know if you, you want to see what you don't want to see. Now, I do read and reply to every comment. And um, I do appreciate each and every comment. And um, I do appreciate your guys' input. I'd rather, you know, keep you guys happy and know what you guys want and give you guys what you want than me just sort of, you know, let's just say having my head up my bum and doing whatever I want instead of listening to you guys. I'd definitely um, rather listen to you guys and keep you guys happy and keep you guys coming back. Alright, let's try not to knock down any. Can we reach the top one though? Don't think so. Oop. 
Come on. Damn it. Okay. Oh no. Go backwards. I got up and just. There we go. Just grab it so we're not knocking the other one off. Hopefully we can just drop this top one in. There we go. I'll leave this on the on the front just in case. Back up. There we go. We are tipping to the left. Yes. There we go. So if I press unload here. It should chuck the straw straight on the ground. Should. Right, we'll go here and I'll say straw not accepted here. No, oh, it didn't say that at all. Is that working? Perfect. Didn't take much though. Which is, yeah, really strange. Alright, so I'll dump you there I'm gonna I wonder if we can just leave it there see if that disappears eventually it might it might not let's go and grab a grass bale and then we're gonna need a silage bale so how many have we got here Oh Jesus, no! Oh well. There goes our uh, really neat stack. So we need a silage bale, so I was gonna just wrap one of those guys and then use that. Is an option. I probably shouldn't, just as I said it, probably shouldn't be lifting it up that far away. This bale's not supported. It's a grass, yeah, it's okay, it's a grass bale. Uh, well. Put you there. Um, put you there as well. So they don't have uh, they don't have hay yet. Okay. Go and pick up you. It's only 939 litres, there's no way that's going to be enough. I need to bring that guy over to here. Beautiful. Let's go and grab a bale wrapper. Where's this guy going? Doing good. Just getting there. We'll come and wrap that bale, put it in, and then we'll have a look. We're definitely going to need some more hay um, and possibly straw, but we don't want to put too much in. When you start putting too much in, and the mix is incorrect and it doesn't work, so. So the front is pretty good, but it seems like um, over here somewhere, like this side of the building, there's a bit of a drop to get down into it. Like just here, whereas it was flat before. Just there. It's not too bad, but... Uh, Alright. 
while that's wrapping, let's I'll drop you off there. Oop. Drop that bale down. Fold you back up. Oop, wrong button. There, drop you off. Sw whoop, swing around and... Grab you. Beautiful. Now, is that the correct ratio for the mix? Definitely don't think it will be. No, it needs more hay, which is what I suspected. So, we will. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move you back to there. Drop you off. Pick you up. When we get over here, we can dump this guy as well. Load him up with some some hay. So you have to use hay now. You can't use grass like we've been able to in the past. Oh, careful of that. Wage payment. Another full bucket. I think we're going to need 4,000 litres. So if we get four buckets, it'll be just under 4,000. Um, what do you want about? I don't know what's going on then. A little bit too far away, maybe. Beautiful. So while I'm here, before I go anywhere, quickly tidy these feral pigs up. Shouldn't call them pigs, I'll probably get offended. Right, you don't want that. Okay, well. Does sheep want hay or grass and hay? It doesn't matter. So yeah, I don't know what's going on there. It's going to take us a little while to fill that trailer, of course. Now let's have a look. So we can definitely put another straw bale in. There's 8,500 litres. Put another straw bale in, it'll be 12,500. Which still should be okay. I'm going to drop you there. What is he going on about? It's a train, mate. Just wait. There you go, he's kicked going. Uh, let's go chip side right. Um, drop you there. Not you. Um, let's try and get through here. Pick up now. No, come on. There we go. I don't know if we oh, we would be. I don't know if we're killing all the grass. We would be with the trailer. Not so much the tractor, but the trailer we will be. Right, now we hook this up. And hopefully. Too much straw. He's not hay, it's around the other side anyway. Um, okay, the next thing we can do is put in a bit more hay. 
try and even that out a little bit. We might have put a little bit too much straw in. Let's put a bucket of hay in and then see if it's going to be okay. I said once you get the mix wrong, I don't think you can use it. I don't think. Don't quote me on it. So I just see the bucket from in there. There we go. I hope we don't need any more silage because I don't have any. I'm not laying around. It's all in bales. Still a little bit too much straw. Put another scoop of hay in. Kind of making a bit of a mess of this, aren't I? If you want a tutorial on how to do it, don't watch my videos. Now, I hope that's probably a little bit closer. We probably need silage now. Uh, no, we're getting close. Let's try one more. Let's hope we haven't gone too far. Oh god, we are so close. Literally so close. I don't even think we'll be able to put a whole bucket in here. So I'm really hoping this is going to be enough. No, there we go. Come on. Oh, look at that. Might have taken us four hours, but we bloody got it. Oh, tip side left. Is he still going? Yeah, he's still going. Chef these birds. How much is it going to take, though? Should take all of it. We should get our productivity up to 100%, I hope. There we go. It did take all of it. So it needs a little bit more, but... Really not that concerned about it at the moment. Um, might dump this guy just here somewhere. Whoop. I swear that wasn't me. I have no idea why the camera did that then. Just want to grab... Grab some hay and put it in this trailer. Definitely do with um, a bigger bucket. Or the hay loft. <laughs> That's another good thing we'll need. There's our timer. We'll 
do a couple more buckets. So at least give him a little bit to to feed on. So I was planning on bringing the skid steer down here and using that for clean up and stuff, but it's just uh, very slow and it's very unstable as well. Bucket, how good is that? Like the paint coming off the bucket? Or is that dirt on the bucket? Or both? Looks like paint coming off to me. That is awesome. Pick him up. So here, yeah, four and a four and a half thousand, five thousand litres. Uh, we'll go with tip side left. So it's nowhere near enough, but at least they got something in there. Um, so if you've got grass, it'll be 25%. If you've got hay and silage, it'll be 75%. If you've got total mixed ration, it'll be a total of 100%. Um, it's going to be a long time before we get any any cows. 140 hours, and you've got 750 hours. So once the productivity goes up, though, it will drop, which will help a little bit. Uh, how much was that? 4,000. We probably need another 15,000 to put in there. It's like another 15 bucks or so, which obviously I'm not going to do now, but it's definitely what we need. We're definitely going to need a hay loft in here somewhere. Alright, so drop this guy off. Just there. Uh, we'll set this guy up. Got plenty of mowing that I can do as well off camera, unless you guys want to see all the mowing and stuff. You're done, you're done for the day. You're just kind of doing nothing. Alright, and let's have a look and just make sure that the whole thing looks like it's all planted, so that's fine. So we've got to mow around the outside and sort of mow up and down there. We're definitely not going to get anywhere near as much as we did um, in our last lot with the grass because of you know we put buildings down and stuff like that so we'll have to um, just make do of what we've got I suppose right. now hopefully I've left enough room Oop, I should have Sneak in here and front mower, rear mower. Here we go, he's good to go. Alright, so you're doing that. Um, cows have got everything except for hay, sheep have got everything, so they should be happy as. Let's have a quick look before we go. Um, 90,000, we don't have enough for a hay loft, which is fine. Um, I've had a vehicle workshop, so I definitely want to put one of these in, but I was thinking over here somewhere, but it's kind of well that we can get it there, that's that's alright. Probably not as ideal as I'd like it to be. Ah, where are we square there? And so we could probably like put it in here somewhere. Twenty nine thousand, so it's not going to cost much to put it there. Um, I don't want to put it here because I want to leave all this sort of spot. I want to put that, like the homestead, along here somewhere, and then you know pigs up here. So and a hay loft in here somewhere. So that's probably a pretty good spot, I think. Boom! There we go. Uh, where are we? Let's grab you quickly. It was 29,000, so what was it costing us in the first place? 28. So it didn't cost us that much to put it down. Everything was pretty flat, so that's good. 
So yeah, so cows here, we've got our workshop sort of right in between, which is going to work well. We need to park like here at the front. Um, let's go repair, $67. Alright, now I think um, we drop that there. Can we repair these as well? Repair. The condition's not very low though. They definitely don't drop anywhere near as quick as the um, tractors do. There we go. Um, repair. Five dollars. But that's good, that's definitely what we need. And when it comes to the time that we can actually make a road, like I'd build a road from here up into there, have this as sort of like an entryway or something. I know there's current mods out for fencing and stuff, so um, that's something I'll definitely look at. But rightio, we'll um, end the episode here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, as always, as I say, smash that like button. Leave a comment, let me know if you've got any ideas or there's certain things that you do want to see um, and certain things you don't want to see. And if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Brito. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.